I am Captain Logan. I'm it! I'm Luke! And uh, it's time <laughs> once again to recommend things. Uh, Luke is our guest this week, and Luke has been on uh, before. Luke, thanks for being with us again, dude. Thank you good for having me. Good to see you. And Luke, since he's our guest this week, is going... <laughs> Luke uh, is going to go first this week. Go ahead, Luke. All right, what well, do you recommend uh, today? What I'm recommending today is The Office Season 8 and Parks and Recreation Season 4. Uh, Parks and Rec. He's worried is... he'll never get on the show again. So he's got to like, <laughs> catch now. up, you know. That's right. I may bring things that were relevant. <laughs> anyway, uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, personally, it's probably my favorite show. I like it better than The Office. It's a better ensemble cast. And uh, you can also catch them on Netflix. And that is my recommendation. You gonna say you talk about it at all, or is oh, it? Oh, well, <laughs> what do you like about him? <laughs> You'll never be on TV. You got a little time. Oh, we're on TV now. <laughs> <laughs> we're on computer monitors right, right now. Breaking, breaking the monitors. fourth wall right now. All right, Hi, well, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, the office season eight. Uh, uh, this is the season without Steve Carell. Uh, Andy, played by Ed Helms, who you guys will recognize from the Hangover movies. Uh, is the new boss, and uh, actually, I actually think it's even better without Steve Carell. I love oh, Steve wow, Carell. Really? Yeah, and it's it's actually gotten a lot better. I was telling Ben some of the jokes earlier. Uh, the guy, one funny scene I love is somebody asked Andy uh, if uh, him and his girlfriend would be interested in bringing in another person, and he goes, "Nope, it's monogamy for mahogany." And I thought. That's <laughs> Things I ever heard. Uh, anyway, fantastic show. You can also catch it on Netflix. Another show I love is Parks and Recreation. Like I said earlier, I love it even better than The Office. Amy Poehler, Nick Offerman, Adam Scott, Rob Lowe, they're all very, very funny, very talented. And uh, even more so than The Office, these guys, guys work so well uh, as an ensemble cast. And it's actually, as funny as it is, it's also a very sweet show. Like it's very like loving, and the characters really you know respect each other and care about each other. It's it's a lot different than The Office, and it started out looking uh, very similar to the show, especially since it's in a uh, fake documentary format. But uh, matter of fact, Nick Offerman, who plays Ron Swanson, I'm probably going to take off a lot of fans of The Office and Parks and Rec, but I love Nick Offerman's Ron Swanson more than I love uh, Rain uh, Wilson's uh, Dwight Schrute. And it is, it is an absolutely hilarious show. Anyway. Ron Swanson. <laughs> I just like the name. He's, he's really Swanson. cool. Like, it sounds a bit like a TV dinner. It'd be like, a, like <laughs> Bill Swanson Tillman or something. You know? Yeah, like, <laughs> it's a Ron Swanson dinner. <laughs> Like he's talking about, he goes, he's telling Leslie Nope, who is played by Amy Poehler, uh, how uh, he learned this lesson when he was nine years old and one of his brothers took a staple gun to his toe and blew his toe off. And Amy Poehler goes, you only have nine toes? And he goes, I have the toes I have. It's <laughs> actually pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Anyway, those are my recommendations. Pop up here real hey quick. Vince, what do you recommend today? Today, me off. I'm recommending Ron Swanson's name. Anybody named Swanson, <laughs> you should totally name your kid Ron. This will never air. <laughs> it's, it's... So, I'm recommending a movie. Is it the best movie ever? Well, probably not, but I'm recommending it anyway. Um, you've been on a track record for those lately, Vince. That's <laughs> true. I do think this is a good movie. I'm not going to say it's the best movie, but I think it's good. So, Fallen. I'm recommending a movie called... Fallen. Fallen. What's it about? Is it about somebody who's falling? No, because that would be falling, and this is fallen. It's a different word. So, <laughs> uh, this movie stars uh, Denzel Washington and uh, co-stars John Goodman. Uh, is there any reason why I wouldn't be like, yay, John Goodman? No, there's not. I love John Goodman. So, well, well, maybe Speed Racer would be a reason to go, be like, yay, John Goodman. And maybe even uh, Red State. But anyway. So, <laughs> I thought you liked Speed Racer more than other people. Oh, I hated Speed Racer. Oh, okay, all right. I liked it more than people that wanted to hurt the cast. <laughs> all right. I liked it more than them. I, I never saw it, but oh. I, I know my brother I really enjoyed like it. it yeah, I hated oh, it. Oh, well, I thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, well, if Vic enjoys it, I'll leave it right there. <laughs> but uh, so, Fallen is uh, I'm essentially totally going to send him a link to this. What, uh, what made me attracted to this movie is there's, there's a lot of bit parts in it that I enjoy. Uh, 
the the guy at the beginning of the movie who is going to the death chair is played by Elias Codius, or however you say the gentleman's name. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but um, I just did a uh, rewind on Defendor, and he's in that movie, Elias Codius. Oh, Defendor? And, yeah, yeah, that's the name of it, it's, it, it, Defendor. It's about a, um, it's about a uh, mentally handicapped superhero. It's actually quite good. I actually really like it. Oh, it's it. a Woody Harrelson um, movie. It's a Woody Harrelson movie, yeah. yeah. And, um, well, no, it is a Woody Harrelson movie. And, I, I was going to make a comment, but please go on. And um, I listened to part of your commentary, and, you know, I've always pronounced it Elias Codius, and it's actually uh, the way they pronounce it in, in the you know, they would know because they worked with him <laughs> is is Elias Cateus. That's Elias Cateus. And I mispronounced it even when I did the rewind on it. I've always called him Elias. It's not because I thought it was Elias. It's Elias Cateus. Elias Cateus. Duly noted. I love that guy. But anyway, for those favorite. of you that have no idea who we're talking about, that's the guy who played Casey Jones in uh, the Ninja Turtle movie. From, oh no, like, kidding. Yeah, yeah, and he's also the main guy in the Prophecy movie. Oh, concept. yeah! I forgot all about that. Anyway, he's a great actor. He's he a does terrific. mostly small movies and B-movies, but he's really cool. I love how he does like little itty-bitty parts. He, he just He's like Spice on a movie. Like You mm -hmm. just toss him in there for pepper. He's That's great. Right. And, uh, and he's in this. He plays uh, what looks to be a crazy man, but as the movie unfolds, you see what's, what's going on. Essentially, there is uh, some kind of extra... Uh, oh, some sort of supernatural creature... That I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what it's really, what it really is, because I forget as to when in the movie they actually reveal. But he can transfer from person to person by a touch. So if I'm the creature and I touch him, now Cap is the creature. So hmm. he's he's. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> oh, oh, I, it, oh, I'm sorry. Anyway. I guess I just have to do this <laughs> the remainder of the video. Essentially, <laughs> the uh, the the bad guy who starts out in Elias Codius, but the bad guy who jumps from body to body has made it his personal mission to uh, toy with the life of, uh, of uh, Denzel Washington's character, whose name I completely forget because it's been forever since I've watched it. But I just I find it such an interesting movie, and it's so well cast. And I like Denzel Washington in pretty much everything. Uh, I, I know it's kind of stereotypical to like Denzel Washington, but whatever, he's great. So... I <laughs> It's okay to like people who are good actors, man. Yeah. This is true. You know, I just feel like Denzel Washington is one of those people that are like, oh, who's your favorite actor? If you said Denzel Washington, they'd or be Adam like, Sandler. really? Like, everybody likes You can't say he's your favorite. <laughs> I'm saying. No, that, no, that's fair, though. You're right. You're right. People do people do that, absolutely. Yeah, like, you know, that's the thing. is If somebody were to name a classical, classically trained actor, you'd be like, okay, I can see that. Like, if somebody were Sir, Sir Ian McKellen, like, oh, oh, sure, yeah, why not? Because of the uh, sir. Or like any major actor who's not around anymore, you can usually kind of get away with it. Just like, just like, oh, you're going back th back to the good old days. Okay. <laughs> oh, you like... There's a gene <laughs> can't in can't say that on this part. Anyway, <laughs> <right? laughs> Funny how you become less referenced when you're dead. <laughs> oh, dead that's not, that's not always true. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is a debate we had before the show. Go ahead, dude. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I really don't want to go too in-depth in this. I just think it's really interesting. I think there's a lot of little fun character moments. Uh, uh, Denzel Washington's character is a, uh, is a family man, a guy who has to uh, take care of his sort of little offbeat family. I believe his family is composed of his son and his brother. Uh, I forget what happened to the mother. No, I don't forget what happened to the mother, but I'll let you find out. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's not a lot about this movie I want to tell you guys. I just I don't want to ruin any of it because I think it's such an interesting ride. That's the thing. Hey, I'm done. Today, I'm going to recommend an action figure, because, once again, Vince didn't, so I will. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, recommend a Matrix figure. This is a Neo who uh, is from that scene where he gets his uh, mouth taken away um, from code from Agent Smith. And uh, I really like action figures that are taken specifically from a scene. I always think that that kind of thing can be really neat and interesting. I do too, actually. And um, I really like that they did, uh, th that they uh, made this figure as just the the effect where he starts to get his mouth all messed up. So it's not, it's not like, it's not like, because they could have easily just made a figure where he's missing the mouth and then mm -hmm. still had like the thing that goes in his chest and you'd still know what it was. But it's not that it's that special effect. 
effect. So um, I really like that. I've, I've got some more uh, figures from this line. I found myself really liking this line. This was uh, from 2000, so this was um, this is from M2 Toys, um, directly from Warner Brothers, as far as I can tell. And it's um, it's the figures that came out um, right with the movie. So the movie was released in '99. These are from 2000. So uh, you know, a few months after the movie was released. And I've got some other cool things. Like um, I've got an Agent Smith figure where he's where it's Agent Smith all in code. Yeah. And oh, cool. uh, that kind of thing, yeah. So uh, they did some really cool kind of, uh, you know, imaginative things with this. That and really um, cool. that's really all I had to say about it. But um, I don't know. I, I still uh, I still am a big Matrix fan and still collect Matrix. And I know that Matrix hasn't been a big thing for a lot of years, but it's still one of my favorite things. And I still collect it. So uh, this was a recent acquisition. Incidentally, um, this me. figure does not talk. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Unlike the real Keanu Reeves, who we all wish wouldn't. <laughs> Actually, uh, we had a debate about that a few years ago on the channel, really? and um, so, so at least half of us agrees with you. Um, well, like, anyway, um, and I'll leave it to you to guess which half. So anyway, and uh, Adam Sandler. Thank, thanks a lot. I, I agree with you with Adam Sandler. But anyway, uh, thanks a lot, everybody, for uh, watching us recommend things, and guess what? Vince and I will be back with you once again next week to recommend something else. Thanks a lot for being with us, Luke. Thank you for letting me on the show, guys. It's always yeah. really fun. <laughs> And, <laughs> <You're alone. laughs> and I will see you next time. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. I'm Luke. <laughs>